<laughs> so is that what you're for? You're for communism? Um, I lean more towards that than Biden, I guess. Why? Because Biden, like... I mean, he's not even, he doesn't even support Medicare for all. I mean. All right. Hold, hold on a second. Let, let's start this over. Because I, I think that when we talk about Biden, it comes with all of his loads, like semi truck loads of baggage. Um, why don't we talk about the philosophy of communism versus freedom and liberty? Why communism? I mean, I just feel like, to put in simple, like, philosophical, like, terms, um, I mean, I just, well, if you're comparing it to, like, freedom and liberty, I feel like some, like, personal freedoms, it's, like, necessary to give away some personal freedoms for the sake of, um, like, equity and, you know, a more just world, you know? I mean, that's just sort of a... Simplistic. Okay, so I have a question for you. Uh, are you, do you like Donald Trump? Nah. Okay, there's a reason why I'm asking. It doesn't bother me whether you do or don't. Uh, so, Donald Trump is the president of the United States. Are you, do you live in the United States? Unfortunately, yes. Okay, so, Donald Trump, if we lived in a communist society or somewhere near that where the power was given to the government and taken away from the individual donald trump would have a lot more power over you that's not true he'd be like how he, he'd be like who logged or something who would do that um, I mean, if we lived in a communist society, like, I mean, well, who, like, the state would obviously like, have, like, I mean, not necessarily a gulag, but, you know. Right, so uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is take, take Donald Trump, the person, out of the equation. Mm -hmm. You obviously, okay. I'm just assuming that you don't like the policies that, he has enacted and that he supports correct yeah <clears throat> okay so let's say it's not donald trump let's say it's somebody who you can who you don't like uh that has policies that acts like a politician that doesn't have the baggage that donald trump has uh that people support and then he gets into power and he does things that you don't like. You don't have any recourse on that. You've given away your individual liberty to somebody who doesn't have your best interest in mind. Why would you want to do that? Um, what do you mean by giving away your individual liberty? Like not having the same voting systems? Is that what you mean by that? No, you said that you you got to give away some freedom to have a better society well in giving that away there are people who don't have your interest in mind that get into positions of power that would have con more control over your life than than politicians already do now is that what you're for that is a side effect of it and yeah i mean it's not necessarily a bad thing so, so all the things that you believe in if the person in power uh, was contradicted what you believe in, you'd be okay with that. Um, well, I mean, I wouldn't be like, I mean, I don't think anyone would be like, okay with that, you know, but. Okay, so I agree. So the things that you find that are important I may not find them to be important. And the things that I find important, you may not find them important. So why can't we live in a society where it respects individuals and individual liberty to where you can do the things that you think are important and I can do the things that I think are important as long as we don't hurt each other and as long as we don't force each other to do, the, do each other's ideas then we just coexist peacefully. 
because that's not possible How? because like um i mean i don't know what you're thinking of when you think of like a society where individual liberty is respected because that means different things to different people i mean obviously like i have my views of like you know i mean yes individual liberty should be respected um in a sense like i believe that too like but i feel like each of us have different views on what that means like for example um people who are like against people who are like oh like the government shouldn't force us to wear masks because that's not respecting our individual liberty like 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 i mean i i think that's dumb because um like you said people should respect each other's individual liberty without hurting each other but that's hurting each other wow. you know not wearing mask how is that what do you mean how is that hurting each how, other? how does that hurt somebody um i mean you know just like increases the possibility to spread COVID 19. yeah but is it actually doing that yeah absolutely where okay where okay like i mean you could just look it up there's so many examples um like i just for example like uh there was um, a also, well, I mean, that along with, of course, like not taking proper social distancing, um, like measures and stuff. Um, like there was a choir practice um, where, I mean, first of all, there was no social distancing um, and there were like 60 people in a room and, were, and of course, like it's a choir. So like they're, everyone's standing next to each other. Um, so the SWAT team should bust in on the choir practice so then... They cannot arrest everyone for not wearing masks. Um, well, yeah, something like that. I mean, it just should be prohibited. Like that, that sort of, um, that, yeah, that sort of, um, act, those sort of actions should be prohibited. Yeah. So, I mean, okay. What, what else? Um, you mean with like, yeah, like Medicare for all. You said that should be a, that's a right. Yeah, I I mean, what is a right? What's a right? I mean, life is a right, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, uh, nobody gave that to you. That was natural. I, uh, well. It doesn't have to be well i mean of course somebody gave it to us but it's not like something we could control or not you know yeah so what else is a, what like define a right i just want to know what your definition of a right is um and i'll give you mine okay um it's it's something that everybody deserves to have like regardless of you know your like, quote unquote status or anything like that so a right is something that existed because of your exist a right is something that exists because of your existence so in the bill of rights <laughs> I, I guess if you would go to like the Declaration of Independence of Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness, those pre-existed the government. So that is what a right is because of your humanity. It was given by your creator or, you know, by your humanity, depending on if you're religious or not. So like freedom of speech, nobody gives that to you. All right. And no one said... And uh, well, so for twenty dollars, you can buy freedom of speech. It doesn't happen. It's because of your existence. You have freedom of speech. Same with your life and your pursuit of happiness. No one sells you a pursuit of happiness. That's up to you to pursue yeah. your happiness. It's not guaranteeing happiness. You may not ever be happy, but it's the pursuit of. So you have the right to go out and make yourself happy. A right is not something that someone gives you. So, like, Medicare is something that someone steals to give to you. That's not a right. What is it, then? Like, how do you, what, what word would you use for that? Theft. Uh, well, okay, I mean, I mean, sure, maybe that's a word you can use. 
I mean, this is the reason why is because who? What's going to pay for? It? We can't just like enslave doctors and say you're going to care for everybody at your expense. No, they have to get paid. So how are they going to get paid by the government? Where does the government get its money? Well, they either print it at the Federal Reserve or they steal it from you and me. And uh, they tend to not steal very much from you and me because we would revolt. So they print it through the Federal Reserve, which raises our prices, and that's pretty much a tax. So it's a hidden tax. So taxation, involuntary taking of money to pay for somebody else's health care is morally incorrect. That's not a right. Okay, I mean, I think I think as humans um, of society, it's like it's our duty to pay those taxes. I mean, obviously, it would be different depending on like you know factors such as like your socioeconomic status, obviously. Um, but I feel like that's just a, you know that's the least we can do as humans. Is sure, yeah. If uh, I love voluntarily giving. I, I like doing it. Now, I don't really do it very much because I'm involuntary, involuntarily taken, but uh, I like voluntarily giving, and I would most definitely do that. Uh, churches used to do that a lot. I mean, they still do it now, but uh, lots of people donated lots of money to churches, more so than now, to help people. And then when the government got involved, it... it kind of went away as it used to be but people didn't just die in the streets before so medicare for all is not a right policy because in itself is not a voluntary one i don't okay i mean if you're gonna go by that uh, I, I just feel like i disagree with you on that um philosophy of like everything needs to be like entirely voluntary i don't know I, I all guess right just... so i have a right to self-defense right if someone attacks me i can be uh i can defend myself correct uh sure i mean i i guess okay I'll... so using that yeah. using that logic i think that we should tax all americans to provide semi-automatic ar-15s to everybody for self-defense it's in the constitution it's a it's a right would you be okay with that uh okay i'm not like an expert on guns i don't know how powerful they are i mean i i, I do believe in gun rights yeah but so um, would you be okay if the money that the government took from you in taxes paid for my guns mm -hmm. you'd be okay with that yeah. And my ammunition? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, then I, I think we can meet on this. Uh, I'll pay for your Medicare for all if you pay for my for my uh, my assault weapon for all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a deal. All right. Well, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Assault weapons for all. That should be that. That should be Joe Biden's uh, running. He should run on that. Medicare for all and assault weapons for all. <laughs> Non-registered. Okay, it's just whenever I want an assault weapon, boom, I get it for free. No questions asked. Oh yeah. You'd like that. I'd like that. I think I think it's we I think we can uh, we can agree on this. All right.